Hello, my Ruby friends. Inspiration. Inspiration can be an interesting thing, and we know that many of the characters in Ruby were inspired by real-life fairy tales and that sort of thing. You could say that Weiss is a reference to Snow White, that Blake is a reference to Beauty and the Beast, that Ruby is a reference to Red Riding Hood, that Yang is a reference to Goldilocks, Ozpin a reference to the Wizard of Oz along with Ironwood and Crow, Sun Wukong could be based off the Monkey King from Journey to the West. I could go on and on about the various correlations between Ruby characters and certain fairy tales and other pieces of fiction from our real life world, but let's get to the main point. What about Summer Rose? Today I present to you an interesting theory, although I'm hesitant to call it a theory. This is more just speculation. I wouldn't really call this a theory exactly, just something that I want to discuss with you. Before I get into who I believe Summer may have some inspiration from, let me just mention something briefly about Monty. As you hopefully know, Monty had a great love for anime and video games, and he was actually hired by Namco Bandai Games as a combat designer and an animator. So yes, many characters in Ruby are based off fairy tales and works of literature, but there's also a chance that some of the characters are based off video game characters. This is in part due to Monty's background, and there is actually some supporting evidence that correlates Adam, Taurus, with Jetstream Sam from Middle Gear Rising. This was actually pointed out to me in another video, an awesome YouTube user commented on that video about the correlation between Adam and Jetstream Sam. Well, I wasn't familiar with that character, but I looked into it, and indeed, there is certainly a correlation there, but that's a topic for another video. My main point right now is that Monty may indeed have taken some inspiration from video games for some of the characters in Ruby. So that's pretty cool, but what does it have to do with the information that I am presenting to you today? Well, let's get into that right now. You may remember a video game from 2004, a fantasy role-playing video game titled Fable. If you don't know Fable, that's okay, I'll explain the correlation right now, but if you do know Fable, well, you already kind of have a jump start on this theory slash speculation, so good for you. Let's get right to it. So what's the correlation between Summer Rose and the video game Fable? Well, we're going to be looking at a character from Fable, a character by the name of Scarlet Robe. Well, if you're watching this video, hopefully you're already familiar with Summer Rose, but just in case you're not, Summer Rose is the mother of Ruby Rose. She was a highly skilled huntress who possessed the extremely rare Silver Eye trait, which is passed down from an exclusive line of legendary warriors. Summer graduated from Beacon Academy, and she worked as a huntress with Team Stark, but she went missing during a mission and is presumed dead. Scarlet Robe was a world-famous hero, working for the Heroes Guild. She became famous for slaying Balverines, which are one of the most deadly creatures in Fable lore, and even killed a legendary Pale Balverine using a silver-tipped arrow. Scarlet is also the mother of the player character in Fable, and unfortunately, both of these women have a very terrible and unfortunate end. So both Summer and Scarlet were renowned warriors, and very famous for the deeds that they achieved. Both possessed incredible skills and seem to have inspiration from Red Riding Hood. Scarlet is, of course, famous for using her silver arrows to slay Balverines, and Summer, of course, is famous for her silver eyes. But the correlations don't end there. It actually gets way, way better. Both women gave birth to daughters with unique traits. Summer, of course, gave birth to Ruby, and we know that Ruby has her silver eyes. And Scarlet Robe gave birth to Teresa, and Teresa actually became blind in both eyes. So you have something going on with both Ruby and Teresa's eyes. But more importantly is their genes. Ruby is from the legendary line of Silver Eyed Warriors, as we know, and Teresa is part of an ancient bloodline, which gave her prophetic powers and actually even made her immortal. Oh, but it gets better. It gets better. Summer Rose, as we know, has those silver eyes. And what do silver eyes do? Silver eyes counter Grimm. They slay Grimm. So you could say that Summer was famous for slaying Grimm. And Scarlet, what did she do? She was famous for slaying Balverines with silver-tipped weapons. Balverines are very similar to Beowulfs in Ruby. Although Balverines in Fable were actually some of the most deadly creatures that you can encounter in Ruby, Beowulfs are actually kind of like fodder, but they are very similar similar in attack style and also in appearance. There is one final correlation that I would really like to bring up. If you've seen the World of Remnant episodes, you may recall a woman huntress who was dressed in a blue cloak and used a battle axe. Well, we know that Ruby doesn't use a battle axe. The only other cloaked woman huntress that we know of is Summer Rose. So there is a lot of speculation that the blue looking huntress from the World of Remnant episodes is indeed Summer Rose. 
Now, Scarlet Robe went to battle with a cloak and a battle axe. So if that Huntress is Summer Rose, I would say that pretty much confirms that Monty had inspiration for Summer from Scarlet Robe. Unfortunately, we don't currently know if that Huntress from World of Remnant is indeed Summer Rose, but if we ever find out that it is, then I think that makes this theory pretty much set in stone. Oh, did I say that was the final correlation? Oops, I forgot. There's also one more, and I actually mentioned it earlier on in the video when I said that both women had terrible and unfortunate ends. So as you probably know, Summer Rose went on a mission and never returned and is presumed dead. Now, Scarlet Robe, being part of a legendary bloodline known as the Archon's bloodline, attracted the villainous Jack of Blades. Jack of Blades sought out Scarlet Robe and her family in an effort to use their blood to unlock the Sword of Aeons. While her husband perished in the invasion, Scarlet was caught, interrogated, and imprisoned by the Jack of Blades in Bargate Prison. Later on, the player character playing as her son becomes a hero himself and eventually frees Scarlet Robe for a brief period of time from Bargate Prison. Unfortunately, Jack of Blades ends up capturing Scarlet Robe once more until the hero breaks her out a second time, at which point Scarlet Robe goes off looking for Teresa, but she was not able to evade Jack of Blades for long, and she was captured yet again, which later resulted in Jack of Blades slashing her throat in front of her own son. And then he uses her blood to acquire the Sword of Aeons. So what does all this mean for Summer Rose? Well, if Summer Rose is indeed dead, then she was most likely killed by Salem, in which case, both Summer and Scarlet would have been killed by the main villain in their respective stories. Alternatively, if Summer Rose is actually not dead like some people theorize, then I am calling it right now. I'm going to say that she is most likely at Salem's base, being held prisoner, and likely being forced to endure horrible torture by Salem and her associates. So yeah, not a happy ending. Not a happy ending at all. If Summer is based off Scarlet Robe, then we're probably going to have a terrible ending for Summer, whether she's dead or alive currently. And I could totally see Kruby do something like that to us, by the way. Like, just imagine we get a scene with, like, Salem and Team Witch, like a short scene, and then we just see Salem, like, walking down the hallway or something, and she just keeps walking. She keeps walking, maybe going down a few floors, as it seems like Salem is always kind of, like, high up in her tower or whatever it is, and we just see her, like, go down to the basement, for example, and then there it is. The camera pans over, and we see Summer Rose, alive, but looking worse for wear, covered in blood and bandages. It would be terrible, but I could definitely see that happening. And honestly, it would make sense, too, based off Volume 4, Chapter 1, where we see Team Witch discussing the Silver-Eyed Warriors. None of them seem worried at all, and Hazel actually says, we've dealt with their kind before. And yeah, none of them seem worried. Perhaps it is because they actually have a Silver-Eyed Warrior captured at their base currently. So, that's about it for this theory. I do hope you enjoyed this, because I certainly had fun doing the research. And honestly, the more research I did, the more likely it seemed to get that this could indeed be the case, that Summer is based off Scarlet Robe. And I would just like to say that if this theory is indeed correct, and Summer Rose has some inspiration from Scarlet Robe, then that's awesome for Monty to use such a lesser-known character. Although, it would also be rather unfortunate for Summer if that's the case, because as we know, Scarlet had a pretty terrible ending there. Alright, 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 that's really the end. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe if you enjoyed this content, as there will be much more coming up as well, and I'd love to see you then. Have a good one, and I'll see you next time.